right, let's play. We're on a boat. What remains of Edith Finch? Oh! <gasps> she broke her arm. I've never done that before. My sister broke both of her wrists once at the same time. Oh, this is kind of cool. I didn't know what the controls were. And I'm sorry about that. Oh, wait, no, please go back. At the beginning with the house. Okay, I actually could barely hear her. Um. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Wait, so am I supposed to go that way or this way? Oh, no. Okay. I was like, what? Can I run? No, I can only zoom, which is both control and shift. Yeah, I feel like the talking is too quiet, and then the, like, other sounds are too... The music can go down. The sound effects maybe can go down. This can go up, actually, maybe more, so that... The dialogue's louder. Let's try that. Let's try that combo. I can make everything louder. Actually, I should just make everything all the way up and we'll go from there. Because now it's not. Too... I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's pretty loud. Is that good? Is it too loud now, actually? The mailbox. What's that say? Oreas Island Gazette. Inside I like the controls. From seven years ago, marked urgent. Open immediately. Urgent. Open immediately. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Is Lewis on here? Lewis. 1988 to 2010. How old is that? I'm, I'm really not good at mental math. I'm very good at math on paper. Um, 22? 32. 22? 22. I did it. Okay. Oh, I didn't know how that was going to work. I just walked into it. Inner will. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm. I'm. Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna assume that's Milton, but just kidding. That might be. Well, I guess we'll find out. I like checking with the family tree. So we have a key. I don't know how old Edith is now. Did she say how old she was already? I don't think she did. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Driven? How are they driving here? I guess up until this point. <laughs> Wait, what was the... Oh. Shh. Oh, I've wanted to pet a deer so bad. Don't go. Please don't go. Oh. Can I follow it? Can we go in the woods? Can we go off-roading? No. No way I can climb that. No jumping. No jumping allowed. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. This is our house. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. But I know we're not playing this whole game as Edith. Whoa. The house was exactly like I remember what? The way I'd been dreaming about it. How do you build like that? Where's the regulations? I don't feel like that's following them. You know what it looks like? The series of unfortunate events house that's like on stilts over a cliff. As a child? The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Old. Haunted. <laughs> Bad vibes.
Oh my god, I didn't realize I could... <laughs> Wait. Milton missing. He's the one right before us. 1992 to 2003. That's only... 11? Milton was 11? And he went missing. Wait, did I do that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was easy. I can't read what else that says. Age at disappearance, 11. Height, 4 foot 6. Date missing, October 23rd. What the heck was that? Oh, I can do this for Zoom. Okay, that's better. Shift to control and right click all Zoom. What was the. What is in the water? I asked Edie once <gasps> about oh. the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. Edie. You know what? E there's Edie, 1917 to 2010. So the same time as Lewis. Uh, I don't think that this is horror, but if I'm being honest, I did not check. I don't think so. I think it's just a story. It's a good question. I actually literally don't know. If I get scared, I'm you down know, for it to be scary. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. 17, we're 17. Yeah, it's got bad vibes. So many people died here. Two people died in the same year. One of them went missing. Just looking. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Isn't this her house? She doesn't have the key to the house. It's just... Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Is something gonna move? Anybody home? You have to, like, scroll your mouse. So... We inherited this house, and we were given a key. But the key does not actually open the house. And we don't have the key for the house. This is, like, way... I would be too scared to live somewhere this remote. I, I couldn't live so far away from anyone else. Personally. Oh, there's wind chimes. I always liked wind chimes. They don't give me that, like, eerie feeling or anything. Are we gonna crawl? We're gonna crawl. Is there a cat? A dog? Oh, what the fuck is Crawling that? Crawling through the doggy door <laughs> used to be a lot easier when I was oh, a Oh, there's a car. I don't know why I thought it was much closer to me and smaller, but it was just a large object. It was a car. So there's a dog. The power had been turned off the night we left. Okay. <laughs> now I'm starting to think about how this might be a scary game and I didn't know that before and I didn't even consider it at all until right now. Don't tell me, actually. I I'm down for the creepy vibes. Okay, we're not going to try that. We're just going to go in. For the first time in years... I felt like I was home. It was left like this? Oh, they died. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. There is a cat! Wait, is there a dog and a cat? Awesome. Oh no, are they still here? Okay, yeah, this is spooky. This is spooky because of the creaking. In loving memory of Lewis Finch. Son of Dawn, great-grandson to Edie. Finch Family Cemetery. Edith, Edie, Lewis, and Dawn. So that's us, but little. It's so creaky in here. Chinese food. Or only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Yeah, I couldn't so live out this far away like that. I would just be so scared I would die and no one would ever know for, like, so long.
Oh my god, the chair. There was just too much of it. Like a smile. Nothing looked abnormal. Not everybody has one of these. That's kind of fun. But also an accessibility. But that's like... I've never seen one in person. I feel like you don't see those often. But it's cool that you have those. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. What is that? Can't try the key on this? Oh. You can Katie look in? that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What the fuck? That's a weird thing to have. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I guess. Oh, the fly sound is gonna actually disturb me. Even this is so nice. This, this is a very nice house. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. I was reading something in the chat and that scared me. This is so nice. Look how tall the ceilings are. They have so many books. I don't read enough to justify buying this many books to have this kind of a look. Is there a... How do I get on the porch? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Nice view of the water. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. There's too many things running around, and there is probably a cat. Um, textures are scratching an itch in my brain. Eat. <laughs> oh fuck! I hate that. Uh, Edie was almost a hundred. Wow. If I'm gonna live long. I would like it to be, I want to be like a hundred years old, but still of sound mind and body. I hate the flies. The flies are gross. Is this where we came in? Yeah. Okay. Let's go upstairs now. Okay. I couldn't tell if I saw a dot that was for interacting with. So many books. After Milton disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh, that's what the peephole looking in is for. So that was for the library. This one's still open. I spent a lot wow. of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Walter's room. Oh, that's that's a train. That's co that's so cool. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Maybe this is where the key goes? <gasps> Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. What? Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Whose room is this? Walter. 1952 to 2005. Had a secret from the painting room the in his room. My brother Milton had been here before me, and Milton had been here. It's got toys. That's such a pretty stained glass window. I've always Reading wanted this, to have a stained glass maybe window. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Whoa! Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Where are we saving? A monster comes out and kills me. Molly. Way back 1937 to 1947, the 10 year old. The first one on the, well, no, not the first one. That's this guy. 
But so Odin, 1880 to 1937, and Molly, 1937 to 1947. We found Molly's room hidden. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh. This is the door which is sealed from the other side that surely will go around and see the people. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That's so cute. He's gone. So Walter had access into Molly's room through a secret door. December 13th, I'm gonna cry. 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh no, don't do this to me. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. You ate the gerbil food? She's locked in her room? Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Why am I locked in, though? My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, she had fish, too. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Don't eat your fish! Okay, this isn't good, then. Oh, it's dark. Can I go in the... Oh. Oh, I have my own bathroom? Sick. I kept eating and eating. She's too hung... What, 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 what in the fuck? Is there a bird? I ate a lot of things that night. Where's the bird? Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Don't I eat her. I reached out for her. Oh, I thought she was gonna eat the bird. And suddenly, I was a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oops. Where'd it go? Oh, where do I go? How'd you get over there? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. They're not moving either. I thought maybe they'd do something, but they don't. Off. 
There we go. I could tell she was getting really tired. Where is this? Where is this? There's like a little treehouse area. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the Whoa. Mm -hmm. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Teeth nibbling in the grass? Oh. Rabbits. I'm gonna eat a bunny. Oh. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Mm. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Bigger? What can I eat that's bigger than a bunny? A mama rabbit. A bigger rabbit. Oh, I ate a baby. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. In a tree? Yeah, no sauce or anything. No dip. Uh. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just wiggle. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. I rolled off the. Ah! I made it to the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. Oh, the controls are super cool. Really good. Where'd it go? I lost it. Bolt? Seal. I grabbed on tight. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh, but I'm still the shark. I can't really move. Oh, wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 no, I just realized. What am I now? Ew! Everywhere. I don't see any people. I thought it was a squid or something. Ew, I hate the sound. There's a person. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Got him. Uh, I wanted to stop. Let's try the also, door. I did it. Wait, I can't control it anymore now. What's going on? Oh, that was weird. Belly with a rusty razor, belly with a rusty razor. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't know I could get him. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. Still? Girl, you ate so many things. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. I can't see. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Out of the toilet? Gross. Oh god, I'm getting confused. I got closer and closer. Oh, is it gonna be sad? Where's the, um bathroom. It's like too dark. I can't see. Oh, why can you see better than I can see? Can I go up? I can't go up. Oh. oh, my stomach started growling. How many do you have? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. And then she died. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. <laughs> yeah, so that was all bullshit. <laughs> no way any of that happened. But. <laughs> how did, oh, I don't know how she died, though. I don't. Did she actually get eaten by a monster? We're going to find out. Oh, wait, there we go. Sometimes I can't figure I out got the, the sense Edie had spent a lot of controls. time here before my mom sealed the doors. Your mom's crazy for that. <gasps> Hello? Where'd he go? Oh, I'm out here. Where'd the cat go? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, Where did the cat when go? When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. So the cat's name is Molly? I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We got along, and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Dragon kills Finch. When he told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Oh, yeah. I figured as soon as she started eating those berries from her windowsill that she died because she ate too many things that she couldn't eat um, and was locked in her room and nobody, nobody came to check on her. And then she died. I forgot about I, that. I realized that that was what they were leading towards when she started eating the, the berries. I don't know that they were real berries or I thought they were styrofoam berries. Either way. It was cruel to leave her in that room. Even in her 90s, 
Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Is this shag? Carpet? In the bathroom? Can I close this? No. Shower chair. Those the are only good. trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. That is too much. No way the key opens the same lock? There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. This is very cool. This is very cool, very clever. I really like the controls. You're just moving your mouse around. Calvin Finch. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Got a lot of space in the walls. These old houses. Milton, the one who went missing. Couple turns land into a native heaven. Dog. I want to know where the cat went. Okay, we're in Calvin's room now. Why is there a rope? I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Oh, Milton. So Calvin, these two are twins. Sam died in 83. 1950 to 1983. Calvin... 1950 to 1961. He died when he was 11. Um, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> this is very cute. This is such a cute room. I thought those were spikes. They're just darts. Oh, I didn't realize this the whole other half was Sam's. What a cool room. Am I not going to break I this? I'm 17 like years old. More than my mom did. I guess my, oh. <laughs> oh, I can fit in here. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. So I'm As Sam right now. We swore and that's Calvin. He'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Or are we Calvin right now, then? Sam! Calvin! Dinner's ready! We'll figure it out. Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. How do I stop? I told him that <laughs> I don't know how to possible. stop. I'm trying to go against the... I'm just gonna let go. Down. I want to get down. I've never broken. Okay, I figured I was Calvin, but I figured they'd make it clear. Can I not get off with any other button? Oh, 
I'll just wait. <laughs> I've never broken anything or needed a cast or I have sprained my ankles several different various times, but never broke anything. Fractured my pinky. Um, stop kicking. I'm not touching him. I'm not touching the. I can't get off. Am I supposed to keep swinging? We got called in for dinner. Maybe I'm supposed to jump. Somebody's gonna have to make me get off this swing. You want me to come inside? You come and make me. I'm swinging. Actually, my sister broke her arm one of the times, the four times that she broke some bits of her arms uh, on the swing. She fell off. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Don't jump off, Calvin. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. No. And maybe he'd still. Be I should have got off. I should have got I off. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Not on a cliff. When I was a kid, I did play a game that was, uh, trying to jump off the highest step that you could. So you go up one step, jump off, go up another step, jump off until essentially the only way that it would end was when you got hurt. Also, I played this alone <laughs> and I got up to like seven steps. I'm so curious what happened to, oh God, Milton who went missing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Oh, I can't go out that way. Um. Another secret? Another secret. This is such a cool house. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Okay, I don't know which way to go first. I want to go this way first. Oh, I'm outside again. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Where's Barbara? Barbara's back here. 1944 to 1960. That's 16. So that's Barbara's room we can go in. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Okay, I wanna go back in here then. Go into Barbara's room, we'll come back out later. Milton. He's been everywhere in these secret Growing passages. Up, I always thought of Barbara as oh. a child star. Hmm. 
That's to get back in, I think. Her room's a mess. <laughs> I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Stories from child stars are very sad. Nobody's looking out for them. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack, with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. Has been. Can I not stream the part that has the music? But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform Shall, like, her mute signature it? scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, it is a song. Is it a song? Her scream hadn't. Her, oh, her screw. Oh, too late then. <laughs> Getting better. It's a scream. I think you just need the right motivation. That's so weird. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I it's try- It's a song. Oh, who said it was a screen? Mass. I've been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police oh, then I do need to get ready. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. Is it the this bit? The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally. What if I just mute? Is it this? Is it this? 20 minutes later. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. Damn. I'm not she even reached for the music box. Oh, now I have to. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh. I just don't think I can do anything about that. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Is there blood? The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family 10 years ago tonight. What are these? Those are freaky. I don't like those. What am I looking for? I can't freaking see. Ah! Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. <laughs> All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Oh, 
Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh, now I'm actually scared. Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. No way. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Oh, yeah, get him. Window? Window? D okay, not the window. Where's the, um... There. T that night, she played her part beautifully. Thank you for the gifted subs! Thank you for checking your subs! I'm scared because she died at 16. He's gone. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Oh, no. Inside the house. Whispering inside the house? <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. Surprise! Bravo, Bob. You are wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. What? For Barbara, it was a dream come true. And she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. For a little bit, I thought this was maybe a true story. I know, Brad. Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear. Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Who's Rick? And little Walter? The boyfriend? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. So someone did break in as their house. Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. So I don't Andy know if that me means Barbara wanted was to be remembered as the hook man got her. Was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. The comic obviously isn't the true story, but somebody broke into their house and. Oh, 
Hmm. Can I look out the window? No. Oh, that's moldy. Wait, that's a whole cake that they just sealed in here? Oh, you think her boyfriend killed her? Oh, because he went missing. I don't know. I guess you could think that. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. That's locked. I didn't look in, I didn't look in these rooms. Or I think they're all gonna be sealed though. Maybe. That one's sealed? Okay, look. Sven's room? The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Sven and Edie. It's funny. That's Calvin all and Sam. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. And then that's My grandpa where... Sam spent seven put the years rope sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Um... I never looked at this one. Oh, this is Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Okay, so that's where we started crawling around. They said something about the basement. I don't know if I ever saw the basement door, but I'd like to go see if I could see where the basement door is. I think I missed that. Is that this? Oh. Oh! The music box. Don't suppose there's any reason to try and flick the light on. The power's out. Table. Why'd we lock the basement with the pool table? It's very quiet. There's the saw. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Mm. This is where the buzzsaw incident happened. There's a dragon head he was making. Because they say Sven died to a dragon. I don't know how Sven actually Edie died. Down to the basement once, carrying packages. Oh, the fridge. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh? Didn't we say the boyfriend was in the fridge? Something was like I banging. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Or is that where the hook man came in from? She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter. Goodbye. Oh. Everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. 
Oh, he was building a dragon slide and it fell on him. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. What are these peaches? I always Ooh. expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. These look, look so good. And I then want one some day, peaches. everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I, I mean, what was leave. that that was shaking well, everything can. at 12 every day? Oh, I can't go. Hello? I can't go that way? Okay, I gotta go this way. Oh! Yeah, Walter is the boy that was under the bed when Barbara died. What? Who built this? So he's been hiding in the I house. What was the somewhere. rattling? Whatever killed Barbara. Whatever. Molly. And Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it. But he didn't go back through the house. He went out this way instead. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Why? Or a month. Oh. <laughs> or a single week. Uh, no, he's the one. He's not the one that disappeared at ten. That's I'd be Milton. Happy with one new day. Why didn't he go back into I the house? I can already imagine the sun on my face. I didn't hear when he went missing. Like he just left. And went as far away from the family as he could. I don't Walter remember when. Died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Oh, and they knew he was down there. He just separated himself. Oh, the shaking was a train and then the train. Yeah, because those are train tracks. So he just lived by himself down I'm here sure every day. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. And then he came out one day and then we never seen him again, maybe, I guess. Oh, we get to go down. Well, he was a kid after Barbara died. I don't think he came down here until he was an adult with all his peaches and everything, you know what I mean? I think he was older, right? Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... Was the train late and then it came after him? I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Is that like garbage pile? Trying to bury something that's still alive. <gasps> so did they- Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. 
and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe so they knew he was so down there and they let him live down there? We made it real. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Edith? Let's go this way. Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, please tell me I don't have to I do that. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Where are we going? Tell me we're not going in. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. It's a little chair, like a little, little hut, little beach hut. Yeah, I'm wondering who she's writing to. Look at the house. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. This is the back. way? Is there a gate here? I can't see. Uh. Oh. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it. What happened to Milton? What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Oh, this is the family cemetery. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Oh, these are the pets. Three of the gerbils are mine, and <laughs> two had been my fault. Furby, Chirpy, Burpy, Derpy, and Der Derpy Jr. And Zerpy and Lurpy. Can't forget those either. Sven built the house. This is the it was Edie who designed the cemetery. People one. They don't fit. Do they fit like this? Molly Finch. Calvin. Sven and Edie. Walter. So he went down there sometime after Barbara went, uh, was killed by something. We don't even really know what. Probably someone broke in the house. Um... I don't know if it would be the boyfriend came back and then went and disappeared or I don't know. But and then he came out and maybe was hit by the train when he came back up. Barbara Finch. They're going to plant him in a circle. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on. But for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it Ooh. poking out of the water at low tide.
How do I... Fo oh, oh. No, no, no! Get me back in! There Katie we go. said she dreamed about the old house every night. That's the old house? What would happen if I did, though? Because I don't know that the game would stop me. I'm not really actually sure. Oh, that's it. Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Sam. Her dad had been pretty Gregory strict, and but it Gus. wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Milton, who went missing. Sanjay? I don't know how to say that one. And Lewis. Which one was Lewis again? There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted. What happened to her along. mom? I don't know if we went there. For me to come back someday. I got that story or not yet. Find everything out for myself. Where's the cat? Tell me the but cat's here. Back on it now. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. We're pregnant. <laughs> we are, in fact, pregnant. Oh, that is a skinny branch. And a very pregnant woman. Do I climb up here? No. Where are we going? Not down there. Is there a... A ladder? Oh, there. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Oh, I looked down at her ages ago, but it didn't. That wasn't giving me pregnant. I just thought it was her stomach. They were both pretty intense. Kidding me? That's what mine looks like at the end of the day when I've eaten all my meals. <laughs> Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Sam. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I love this. I'm going to take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Who's that? Hey. <laughs> that's a keeper. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh, that's him. I'm just saying. Wait, who's I'm holding the camera? Here, Don. Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Am I doing this one wrong? Sir.
Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? I'm trying. What do you mean? That's a good one, actually. The Let's soup. See. The soup was a good one. That's what we were looking Before for. You take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where are you? Dad, I, I Oh, we're just Sweet. swapping back and forth. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don. Oh, we're killing do. it! But if you want to stop. Great shot, Don. <laughs> that is a weird. I'm proud of you, Don. That's a weird selfie. Always remember that, okay? Uh, I feel weird now. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Just got to reset the timer. Run, 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 run. I gotta be in this picture of my daughter crying with the thing she just Dad, killed. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about- Dad! Oh. He shouldn't have made her do that. They got the photo of him dying? Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. You wanted to hear that one? Well, that's her dad, I guess. That's her grandfather. There's the gun. Can I have it? If any of them are Chris's, because none of them have been listening to their kids. Is this the lesson? Because I could see that being where this is going. After Sam died, all their paranoia made them stop listening to their close. children. They'd both lost a lot. Mom and Edie got close. That's the grandma. Let me. He grabbed its antler. It couldn't have saved him because that was what made it hit him. It hit him with the antler he grabbed. Because it was still alive. Lawsuit filed. I have to read all of this, actually. No, 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 put it down. It's, it's weird, the, like, controls for that. Okay, hold on. Lawsuit filed against Sam Finch petitioner wife, Kay. A lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendar days after the summons is served. Um, okay, just kidding. I don't have to actually read all of this. This doesn't have... Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Gregory's the one-year-old. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Tender 
over, Gregory. It's time to... Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam? Thought something else was gonna happen. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh, wait, no, it is right there. Oh, I don't. Oh, I went the wrong way. I, I, I did know what this. I, okay, this is worse now. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. See, there's so much I don't understand about Gregory, about everything. I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm sure he's happy. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. on here or that just was his wife she was married into the family she's not one of the finches what were they fighting about whoa wait is this up in the trees they have or 
room. No, this is a different part of the house. I was like, hold on. How do we have this much more of the house still? Gregory, Dawn, which is our mom, and Gus. I Sorry, I don't know who Gus is. Oh, 1969 to 1982. Imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh, cool. What's that? Is that not good enough? My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I remember. So this is Dawn's wedding? When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> Wind picked up oh, Sam's second and wife. Appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. for oh there the rain came down in buckets then but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made or we destroyed it the thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power but all my father said to this was make the music louder Oh no, oh no. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Is that Gregory's brother? Are they both Sam's kids? Oops, 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 oops. Woo. You have to like really slide your mouse far. And then is Dawn... Are these all Sam's kids then, probably? Very creaky. Oh. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Yeah, okay. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> wow. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay. 
Okay, that's how I thought. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. So is Lewis her older brother? I can't remember who Lewis was. Yeah, and he, okay, I remember now. He's uh, right here. Who's Milton? And how did he go missing? Don't tell me. When We're gonna my dad find died, out. I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. These must be my brothers. Lewis, obviously the older brother. Milton, the one that went missing. And to see kids in the house again. Oh, he actually, he actually did it. Well, I guess this is actually doing it too. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, how did the house never fall down? Good. Almost normal. Were we homeschooled? This is our desk. Lewis. How did Lewis? Did they say how Lewis died? Don't tell me if they didn't say it, but I can't. I think they might have said it at the beginning. But it didn't last. This is so cool to have as a kid. Oh. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. Oh. When Edie gave him a castle. Oh, they didn't tell me yet. Okay. Good. Good to know. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. How do you just build onto your house like this? That's the door. Aww. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Oh, what? I'm going up? I didn't realize that that would be an elevator. Where did he go? Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oops, oops, oops. No! I just wanted to see what would happen if I let go. I didn't know if I needed to keep moving my mouse, but you do need to keep clicking. Oh, that's the door. Oh, what's their other game? Should I play it? disappeared and wait how old was he eight eleven and she was four mom spent months searching for my brother then she sealed the doors Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. What did Milton find? Okay, I just wanted to see what was on this side. <laughs> now I have to go all the way around.
Wait, where are we going? Are we going back? No, I think I have to go upstairs. I think, uh, I didn't do that. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. How did he go missing, though? I wonder. This does not seem safe. Got a hookah. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. Like hookah. <laughs> that part of him lived on. This is very cool. I want to look around in here first. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony oh. of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wander. Oh. Oh, I'm worried. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. No, don't feel then your way about. Moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. There's a fish here. Oh, cool. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh, uh, oops. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I literally can't pay attention to both. Oh, I can't go up that? Okay. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. He's doing his job really well. Wireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told it's me getting he'd bigger. made a new friend. What if I just don't city, do the fish part? Lewis Topia. Oh, they make you do it! He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Where's my dog? Where'd my dog go? Get over here. A 
and songs for them to play. I relate to the daydreaming of this so hard. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination Oops. grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Sure then one is. day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. I thought we were gonna... Oh... He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. Hmm. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. So she's there right now. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Oh, a prince. <laughs> Beautiful prince. The prince was on his own quest for... Rainbows. I made it gay. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Radiant rainbows. Oops. Oops, my bad. Try again. Oh, I'm just never around the corner enough. I got this one for sure. Boom. No! He followed the sound of his... Electric sitar. Electric sitar. Oh, I'm missing. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of She's the moon. She's still there. I can't see her hands anymore. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, it's taking over everything now. He knew the world was all in his imagination. There's too many fish. I gotta... But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success oh. in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Oh, it got all choppy. Oh no, everything's choppy. I think we might just have to get through this part like this. I don't know why it's like this. There we go. And then okay. it struck him. Yeah, I think it was just all the... real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Go through the little door. Oh, I thought we were going to chop his hand off.
he began to forget the world we know. Oh, I forgot that there's supposed to be blood. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Is this us? I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. All my pals. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. A cat? Wait, but the cat at the house was black. Where's the cat? He said Calico, but did he mean a cat? Oh, he's up there. His prince waited. My prince! It was along the right side? I didn't see any cat. I don't have a cat. There was only one thing left to do. Oh, it was a giant cat? Oh! Was Molly not a black cat? I guess because it was dark, I thought it was a black cat that I saw. <laughs> I didn't see it. bend down his head. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. That one made me sad. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. We're missing Edie, Odin, and Dawn. Oh, I see the leaves are the people that they married now. I'm crying, literally. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing this, getting one of these from my desk. It's good to, to move around when you sit a lot. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Oh no, oh no, you can see my teeth. Nope, 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 I'm pulling the wrong way. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. I'm still so curious what happened to Milton. He just, he just went missing. He just disappeared. But I understand why we left. A lot of packing peanuts. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. 
Maybe it should have come sooner. Edith? Does that mean this is Edie? But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh no, dumb dumb. <laughs> we are Edith. That whole last day. Surely named after Edie. Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. Is she like a hundred years old? She's drinking? Hallway. Why don't you go open it? <laughs> the grown ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Secret door. Oh, this is not supposed to be on. Hold on. This is, this was wrong. Is there a better time to when drink than when you're a hundred years old taking and medicine? When you leave the house. I agree, it's not the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Oh. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Oh, no. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. No! The light, the light, where's the light? It was straight forward. I got turned around. No? What do you mean? It was straight forward! I wasn't turned around. This big rock wasn't here before. Where's the light? For a while, I wandered. The- oh no. I started seeing things. Oh. <gasps> Come back. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Where did you say that? <laughs> I don't know where I am. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe 
I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! Let go, Mom! I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Great Grandma morning, Edie. To pick her up, Who's Dawn's mom? Gone. So it's Edith, Milton, and Lewis were all siblings. Uh, Dawn, Gus, and Gregory were all siblings. From K and oh K, and then the mom of K was Edie. After that, we moved around a lot. My hand is a dolphin. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Maybe it was the house. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Am I the baby? No! Am this I the baby? This supposed to be for you. Supposed to. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. No. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Man. I'm sad. <laughs> Maybe it was the house. <laughs> Maybe they are cursed. What's the other game that they referenced? the one that is just the most because uh, no one found out that's just the reality of that you don't always find out they just disappeared well that was a very good game I like the way that they have you play through each perspective and how you discover and then transition into playing their perspective of what happened just before they all died 